Alright, so um, I am going to show you guys how to configure your Chromebooks um, for Sage. So uh, first, no, you do not have to wipe the Chromebook um, in order to do this. I'm going to show you both methods right now. This uh, is a wiped Chromebook. Oh yeah, other thing, um, if you have a 2017 or you know, like basically a brand new Chromebook, this one is about a year or so old, this is a 2016 model. Um, but if you have a 2017 model, these steps will not work. You can only access the kiosk mode, which is required for um, Sage, through the administrative console. Um, so what I'm showing you now won't work if it's a brand new one. Um, but if you have an older one, basically anything that's older than 26, anything that's older than 2017, uh, you should be fine. Okay, so this is after a wipe. And the first thing you have to do is basically set this up as if you would for a normal user. You're going to go to your network, set up your um, network, type in your passcode, which I'm going to do now. Um, oops. Hopefully I remember it. Yes, I have some really interesting names for my Wi-Fi. Um, once you're in here, Go to continue, um, uh, and I'm doing this basically as a, um, again, this is a fresh wipe. What I could do, um, once it gets me to this point here, after I've basically entered my Wi-Fi, I can enter kiosk mode by holding down Control, Alt, and K, and that will automatically enable kiosk mode. Um, again, this is if you've wiped it. So this is basically right out the gate. I can just go ahead and go into this route, enter kiosk mode by hitting enable, and then it'll set up an auto launch for the device if I want to. You're still going to have to sign in using your Chrome uh, ID. So um, I'm going to go ahead and use the, the one that I have set up for, um, for Rockwell. This is mainly the one that I use for our social networking, but whatever. So. Um, Go ahead and pump this in there. I don't use it very often, so go ahead and enter that, enter our password. Oh, I forget what it was here. Okay, and it's gonna log me in. Um let's set up my account. Now visually you're not really gonna see much has changed to uh, the device at all. Once you're actually at your desktop, what you're gonna wanna do is open Chrome. And let me close that off or thing, I hate that. Um, inside the address bar, this is where you're actually going to go Chrome. So you're gonna type in C-H-R-O-M-E and then colon, forward slash, forward slash. Um, and you go to extensions like this. So again, it's Chrome. Uh, colon slash slash extensions and and go enter and you're going to have to enable right here this little checkbox to enter developer mode and that opens up these options here you're going to choose manage kiosk applications and then in the side of this bar here this is where we're going to have to type that hellacious uh number or whatever series of garbage that sage decided to name their application they couldn't just name it something easy. You have to actually use this long old ID. Anyways, um, I don't really care. I mean, maybe that's the way the system has to be. Who cares? So it's super long. So I'm going to go ahead and punch it in now. Hopefully I don't mess it up. If you type it wrong, uh, it will not allow the, um, the program to work. It'll give you an error message. So, um, sorry, I'm looking at a different screen. Hopefully I got that right. Um, when you punch it and you hit add, if you typed it in right, which I did, it's going to give you this option here to edit auto, or excuse me, to air secure test. And here's where you can actually turn on to have it auto launch. If you do this, as soon as the machine is powered on, it'll automatically fire up this uh, app. So it won't allow users to log in. You won't have to log in or anything else. It'll just boom, 
kick this on, you won't even actually see really much of the desktop. I'm not going to turn that on, but you certainly can. Um, basically, this has been added at this point. There's nothing more I need to do other than hit done. And now that application has been added. And then I'll go ahead and close this window and then I will sign out of Chrome. So I'll go up, sign out. And this is not quite a reboot, but what this is going to allow, it's going to allow the Chromebook to now actually add that application. So it's going to restart. And then down, I guess you can't really see. Let me move the machine back a little bit here so you can see that. Sorry, it takes a second here. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Okay, so down here at the bottom, you're going to see you have the options to shut down. You're going to see a new option here called Apps. Select that, and it's going to pop up with Air Secure Test, which is the testing software. Uh, click on that bad boy, and it's going to start launching it here. Uh, from here, you're going to select your state, just click on the down arrow. You can actually type in U key, and that will let you jump straight to Utah. Sage is the only option for assessment program. Hit OK, and boom, you're in like Flynn. And that's it. Um, the only real difference, if you have a user, an existing user, which uh, I'll uh, set this up for that, and I'll show you guys that. There's really not much of a difference, but... Um, I'll show you guys how to do it as a regular user too, so hold tight. Okay, so uh, here we are again, um, and I am logged in as myself on this machine now. Probably can't see it, but there's my little bus icon down there just to show it's me. Uh, I'm going to do basically the same exact procedure that I would do as if we were doing this for the first time, minus all the steps of actually setting up the machine. I don't need to actually go into control, I don't have to use this sh the Control-Alt-K to enter uh, kiosk mode, that's not necessary. I just launch Chrome as my regular user, go to the same uh, location, Chrome, um, colon, slash, slash, extensions, there it is. And same exact thing, enable developer mode, which I've already checked off, gives me these options, go back to manage kiosk applications, put in that long, number or whatever letter again letter series of letters oops hb not hv uh, Okay, add it, air secure test. Now the one thing you're going to notice that's different with using this method instead of the kiosk mode from a wiped machine um, is that I don't have the option to turn on the auto launch. That's the main difference. So I just have this added, um, done, close out of this, go back down to my sign out. Uh, let it do its thing here. Bam. Go back in to my apps and air secure test and all this stuff is the same. So really the main difference is, is if you want to have it set to an auto launch so that um, they don't have the option to sign in under any under any way shape or form. Um, you're going to have to wipe the machine. There's no other way around that. But uh, as you can see, I can access the test without issue, even though I haven't technically knocked this into kiosk mode. So there you go. So if you guys have any questions, whatever, let me know. Um, again, if you have newer machines for 2017 machines, um, I don't have one of those. So the only way I'm going to be able to work on that is if you guys have it and you have an administrator uh, log in to access it. If you don't have that, you don't have them set up to be managed, you are out of luck for those 2017 machines. They must be managed and you have to have an administrator account to, to get on those. So anyways, hope this helps. Um, and uh, yep, let me know if you guys have any questions. All right, see you later.